Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos with another video for you and it's going to be the part one of our thank Happy Thanksgiving theme sort of embellishment cards etc, whatever you want to do with them and I've not got loads of time tonight so I'm just going to do the, the simplest of the three files and that is the turkey to video. Um, now if I pull the turkey apart you might see how it actually starts to go together okay so what we're going to do i'll come to, back to the writing or the greetings towards the end and we'll get started with the turkey so first of all you need to scroll down your basic shapes and you need to pull on this basic shape okay then we're going to resize it and if we look at it you can see that's what we're starting with so we need to resize this to three by one roughly so I'm going to take up that off and we want it three by one or thereabouts okay so that's roughly the same size as what I've got my turkey at so then I'm going to move that to one side and I'm going to duplicate it edit and flip on the horizontal axes and bring it down below the other shape like so and then I'm going to select both and align them to the vertical axes like that then I'm going to select both and group them and then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard and another eight times for a total of nine so that's one already there two three four five six seven eight and then I'm going to draw around all of them with my selection tool so that they're all selected and I will line them up first centrally and then horizontally click off the page, oh sorry no I'm going to move them up a bit first then click off the page then we're going to click on the top so we've effectively now got that stack of shapes you've seen me use this technique before and we're going to do some rotating first with the first shape we're going to go 30 degrees click enter and then I'm like going to click on the top again click 60 degrees for the angle and rotate that way and then we're going to click on the top again go 90 and rotate then click on the top again and we're going to go 120 and we're going to leave it there okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this one now that we're on we're going to edit and ungroup and we're going to delete this one then we're going to go on that one edit ungroup and delete that one this one edit and ungroup and delete this one this click on this pair edit and ungroup and then sorry we're going to click this one to delete and finally we're going back to the start now and we're going to start rotating again but now we're going to go in the opposite direction so we're going minus 30 degrees and we're going to edit ungroup and delete that one then back to the center and we're going to rotate minus 60 degrees and we're going to edit ungroup and do get rid of this one then we're going to go back to the center and we're going to rotate by minus 90 degrees and we're going to go on edit ungroup select that one and delete and finally this one rotate minus 120 oops seem to have one short here so I'm just going to do a duplicate and put it right smack on the top of that one and just move it into place. I must have miscounted somewhere along the line. And we're going to edit, rotate by minus 120. And then we're going to edit, ungroup, click on this one, delete, then finally, the center group ungroup and delete the bottom one so that's kind of created the feathers 
for the turkey in the background. Now I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go edit and group them. Then I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to move them down to the bottom, move one set up to the top and I'm going to weld that one. So process the overlap and weld. So that's giving us a base shape for at the back for our where our turkey is going to be. But as you can see, this part here has got a big chunk missing. So what I'm going to do is bring on a circle. I'm going to shrink it down. And then I'm going to bring it into position. And what we don't want is it to be overlapping with any of these back petals. But we just want to make sure that it's covering that hole. So I can afford to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to get it roughly in the centre. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like so. Then I'm going to select both of those shapes. Edit and weld. So now that's kind of created the backdrop for where we're going to place our petals would fit on top there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that slightly bigger so that it's like a matting layer. So I'm going to go on edit, create an offset line, which is this one, and I'm going to make it about 0.08 inches outwards and say OK. Now I can click off, click on, make sure I've got the bigger of the two. I'll leave that to the side in case I decide I need it later and that's where we're up to. So I'm just going to move that to the side while we work on the turkey itself. Um, actually no, I'll bring it into position now and then we can see what it's looking like. So I'm going to just drag that into position, line it up centrally on the vertical and on the horizontal axes. Oops, not on the horizontal, sorry, because I forgot about that bit on the bottom. So just need to line it up. I need this one on top, that's what's throwing me. So bring that one onto the top, that's better. And select the pair of them, and we'll line them up centrally, and then we'll just scoot it up, the top one, using our arrow keys. So we can see that overlap. And then just so that we can see the different colours all I did to get the idea of what it's going to look like is on group. And then I'm going to just give them um, some colour. So I'm going to do this one uh, brown. This one and this one brown. So I'll select the pair of them. We're going to make those brown. Darker than that, I think. That one. Then we're going to hit the next two. I'm going to make those orange. Then I'm going to hit the next two. We're going to make them sort of a dark maroony wine colour. Then the next two. I'm going to make a mustardy colour. Oh, not that yellowy. A mustardy colour. Which one did I use? Maybe not that one either. Which one was it? No, that one I think. Well, that one looks okay anyway. And this one, again, I'm going to make that brownie colour. And it's just for the screen purposes, just so you get an idea of what the file is looking like. So that's where we're up to. So I'm going to make the back layer a greyish colour. So you can see the matting layer. And that's what we're looking like. So I'm just going to group those together temporarily so that they're not getting in my way whilst we work on the turkey. So the turkey starts off as, if I just get rid of that, the egg shape for both the head and the body. So I started off with it in this orientation and took a duplicate. I'm going to shrink this one down to form the head. So I'm just doing it by eye and it comes out at about 1.16 that I've got it at by just a little bit wider I think. That's about right, by 1.26. And then this one, I flipped on the horizontal axis and then I made it narrower like so, but not a lot left in the width, if you will. So, so I shrunk it down quite a bit on the height, but not much on the width. And it's 2.69 by 3.05 is what I've got it at at the moment. And then I'm going to shade them like a mustardy colour so we can see what it's looking like. 
So now that's where we're up to. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select both shapes and centre them on the vertical axis so we're ready for the next step. Now for the neck, I brought in this shape, which looks like a bit like an apple core, I think. And I shrank it down in a little bit to narrow and then dragged it up so it's a little bit longer than that. So I can use that as a welding place for the neck, like so. So I'm going to drag a box around everything, line it up centrally, and then I'm going to weld those three shapes together. So that's where we're up to. That's making the body, which is going to fit here, somewhere here. All right, so now we need to deal with the legs. So I started the legs using, where are we? Again, this shape. And again, I shrank it right down. I made it quite short and very narrow, like so. And you can always shrink it down a little bit more when, you, when you've um, got the actual foot welded together. And I then went into the shapes again and I pulled on that shape, okay? And I made it really thin. I'll bring it down here so you can see it. And really quite narrow. Oops, now I've got the turkey selected somehow. So I made it thinner and narrower, like so. And then I rotated it by 90 degrees. Okay, so you're with me so far. So we're putting that there for the first of the, the feet of the turkey. Then I duplicated it, positioned it further in and rotated to make it fit and shrank it down a little. So you can see how this is coming together now. I then edited and duplicated that. That's the other way of doing the duplicate and flipped it on the vertical axis. I then moved it into position on this side of the leg and then I selected everything and welded it together. So that gave us the chicken's foot, if you will, or rather the turkey foot, like so. Then I shrank it down so that it fit the size of my turkey. I rotated it a little bit so it wasn't too straight until I was happy with the angle for the feet. And then I duplicated that and then I flipped it on the vertical axis to get the same angle and position that. I then selected the other foot, so they were both selected, lined them up at the top so that they were even to each other. Then, then sorry, once they're lined up together, then I grouped them. Then I lined them up to the turkey's body centrally on the vertical axis. And then I welded the two shapes together. And that gave us our chick, our turkey body. So I'm just going to give that a colour. And it's already at the top. And that sits nicely on our file. So that's the turkey's body. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the turkey. This part here, so the dangly bits, I don't really know what you call them. Um, and for that, I'm going to go into the basic shapes again, bring on this basic heart shape, and I'm going to shrink it down a lot and make it a lot, lot narrower than it is. And then I'm just going to double click to expose the nodes and then I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's happening. So double click. And I just want to pull that one down a little bit just to make it a little bit deeper of a V. Then I'm going to view fit to mat and then I'm going to flip it on the horizontal axis so you can see what we're making. It's this part here. Okay. And we're going to shrink it down a little bit that way and in a little bit, turn it red. 
and then place it on our turkey. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's the kind of thing we were making for there. Then we need a beak. So for the beak, we need to find this rounded, rect uh, rounded rectangle. It's a rounded triangle. I do apologise. I'm not com completely with it tonight, I don't think. So I'm just shrinking that down to fit the size of my turkey's head. And then I'm going to rotate it by... 45 degrees, no, a bit more than that, maybe it was 90, so we'll just undo that, just can't remember now the exact rotation, I think it was 90 coming now that I think about it, and no, now we're too far, okay, so I'm just going to do it by eye, get it roughly at the right angle, because remember, this is down to you when you stick it on, the angle that you stick it on at. And I'm going to turn that yellow for a beaky colour. And I'm going to position that on the turkey at the top, like so. And remember, the actual rotation isn't essential on the file because you're going to cut that piece out separately and it's up to you where you stick it. All right, so next I brought on a oval shape and I rotated that definitely by 90 degrees and then I shrank it right down to a tiny tiny oval and shaded it black for the eye let's have a look at the size of that I think I even wanted a little bit narrower than that so I'm happy with that now I was intending to draw these on so I made mine a drawing line and I hit the fill function so that when I do my greeting, which I also intend to draw these, I can get it to draw the eyes of my turkey at the same time in the position that I want them. So I'm going to fit these on here. Alternatively, you can cut them out and stick them on yourself. It's entirely your choice. So you adjust the eyes until you've got the size that you want. I'm just going to make that body just a little bit bigger. So I'm not, none of them are going to be exactly the same, but you can get the idea. So that's how we're looking. And if we move that back over here, you can see that that's the turkey more or less complete. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this turkey so it's out of the way and I've got some room. Okay, so that's where we're up to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ungroup them. I'm going to take a copy of the back layer. I'm going to take a duplicate of the chick of the turkey, position it where I like it on the card, like so. I'm going to drag a box around both, line them up vertically, and then I'm going to weld them together. So now we've got the base shape for the card. So this, when it comes across, when it's finished, will mat on top. Let's just group them and then we're not going to move them. And bring that to the top. That will mat on top of that one. Okay. Now, all I want to do is just increase the size so that it's like, like creating an extra matting layer. So we're going to have the grey layer at the back as your matting layer for on here. And then all of your coloured feathers will mat onto that. So we need to make this one slightly bigger so we get that extra matting layer effect. So again, we're going to go on the create an offset line 0.08 inches outwards and say OK. So we can delete the smaller of the two. So that's our matting layer now that's bigger. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to flip it on the horizontal axis, scoot it up until they're just overlapping roughly. Select them both, line them up on the vertical axes, and then we're going to weld them. So that's created the base card for our turkey. So all we need to do now is put a score line in. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what's happening. That should be enough. Now you can either do this step or leave it out because you could put it on a scoreboard and score it manually, but I'll show you both ways and then you can you can choose so whoops i've clicked before i was ready so i'm just going on to the node selecting tool once i get in that corner 
it turns to a square, a little square pops up and double click to anchor and that gives you a line. I'm going to then make it a cutting line and also a perforating line. Okay. Now, if I click off, you can see that's going to perforate also into that card, but it will just click out anywhere because remember there will be a piece of card that you're cutting this out of. So I'm just going to view and zoom fit back to the mat. I'm going to draw around those two, including the score line, and I'm going to group them so that then I can move them around without moving the position of the score line. So then I'm just going to group everything on the turkey together. I'm going to bring that onto the page. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to edit and group those all together. And then I'm going to shrink it down so that it'll actually... Oh, not quite so much. So that the whole thing will fit on my mat. And I think we're on there, so let's just check. So we're looking to make sure that everything is fitting on the mat. So now I'm going to ungroup, first of all, that one. Move it to the side. Then click off and move the turkey pieces to the side like so. And, and then I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to have it over here so that it's out of the way. All right, I'm not going to show you how to make both greetings because I've shown you this before. But I will just go through one of them with you and I'm going to go through the bless this home. So all I did to make that is I opened my type converter software. And then once we've got the type converter up, Type in what you want, so I put bless this home for one of my sentiments. And my intention would be to draw these with the pen, but it's down to you, because I want them to be quite small, and to be that small, really, the scan and cut would be better off drawing them, because it would be very difficult to piece it back together. So then, my favourite script at the moment is this, better together. Preview it, and that's what it's looking like. Close, and then save it. So hit save. That will bring up a dialog box where you can choose to save wherever you want to save it. Make sure you save it somewhere that you can find it. So I'm just going to cancel it because I already have the file saved. And I'm going to go on now and show you how to deal with that file. So I'll just move the completed one down a little so I've got a bit of space at the top of my mat and then I'm going to hit SVG import because we're importing an FCM file that we've just created and then I'm going to go in my FCM files and go on my, my bless file which is the one I've made previously that says bless this home so I'm just going to delete some of these letters again I nearly did it again so my mouse is very sensitive today so let's just see if we can get this one. So we're just going to delete that one and also the H and we'll just deal with this bless. So all I did is once I've got it imported, remember it's always better to flood fill it with colour and then you can see what you're actually dealing with. So I'm going to do it in this dark colour and I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's happening. Now, as you can see, it's a bit too dark. Maybe I'll make it a little bit lighter than it's clearer for you to see on the screen. So I'm going to select it again. And I'm just going to make it a bit lighter than that so you can see. Now, if you look closely, you can see that at the minute, all those holes are actually filled in. So we need to get rid of that. Otherwise, if you're going to colour that, it's going to shade that in as well. Now, if you're cutting, it's going to cut round there and cut round there and cut round there, which is fine because then they'll just fall out and leave you the letters. But we want to draw and we don't want it to draw those holes. So we're going to hit process the overlap. Sorry, not process the overlap. Yeah, process the overlap and subtract. So we're selecting each letter. Also, just before I carry on, these, let these letters are not welded together at the moment. You can move them individually. Just move that back into place. And if you'd have tried to weld them, which is what I'm going to do, and you would do if you were cutting them, actually, if you didn't do this step, it would weld all those centres into position as well. I'll just, just show you that. If you weld it, it's going to weld those in, and you don't want that either. 
so what you do need to do is definitely get rid of these holes so by doing this subtract process the overlap and subtract now I find sometimes it'll work if you do the whole word but I find it's much more consistent and it doesn't have as many issues if you do it letter by letter and then I just well, I'll just do that again because I perhaps did it without explaining I selected everything then and I went on process overlap and weld <coughs> and that's welded that word together and if I go on view fit to mat all I did then was position my words individually where I was happy with the the position and the placement of them then I grouped them together once I made them group them as individual words first so I could position them where I wanted and then I grouped them all together and once I'd grouped them all together I could then actually resize so I'm just grouping and resize you can make that smaller and remember you've got more scope for making it much smaller when you are going to draw rather than cut so that's the turkey file complete i hope you've liked it this is the other greeting i've made that goes with the set happy thanksgiving now someone asked me when i'd put this on the picture on the because i'd put this up here and they said did i realize that i'd put it on upside down well to be honest i wasn't actually putting it there thinking that that's where it was going to stay I was actually thinking that because I was drawing it, it was just an alternative to putting it, bless this home, in, I, mean, I did have it actually in the turkey's stomach, if you will. So if I move this out of the way, because when this folds down, this will be the inside of the card. The back side of this piece will be the top and this will fit on top of that. Now, if you wanted to put a greeting on the inside of the card and bless this home on the turkey itself and for some reason at the minute I'm just going to do that thing because I've lost my move to the top and move to the front if you see what I'm saying when I go here these have greyed out and that's because there is a glitch in the software for some reason that it does do that so I'm just going to call it turkey save it and if this is happens to you and you something goes missing and you're not sure why do this step so save it first, but do make sure you save it before you hit this refresh button because that's going to refresh everything and it looks like you're losing everything. But as long as you save it, it's going to come straight back. So I'm just going to zoom in again and you can see now when I go on edit, these that were greyed out before and they wouldn't let me move them are now back at the front. So like I was saying, if you wanted, remember this is going to be ultimately on the top. When this is this top bit here, is folded down this layer is going to be on the top but this bit here when it's folded across there and bent down this bottom turkey if you will is going to be the inside of the card so if you wanted again we need to just bring that to the top we could put that on that one there so for a greeting inside of the card and then you could put bless this home and again we need to bring that to the top on the turkey's tummy like so so then you could go on the front and then you'd have happy thanksgiving inside so i hope that's kind of cleared that one up i'd i'll just put them on the file for photographing just so you could see that there were an alternative greeting but if you did want to put it on the on the inside that's where you'd need to put it and then once you've folded that you'd have to flip it over stick that on but i would before that i would if i was putting this greeting on the turkey when that's ungrouped I'd get to take that to one side and stick it on my mat position it position the text over it and get the machine to draw that part before I stuck the whole thing together then I can position the greeting exactly where I want it so I hope that makes sense okay so that's it for this tutorial I hope you've liked it if you have don't forget to like share and subscribe um, there's lots of people joining our channel now and it's really good to see you people coming along and all the new people that are coming to watch the videos. Thanks for supporting me and give me the thumbs up and I'll keep making the videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.